What's up guys? It's your boy Sam here and today we're back for round two of our little experiment that we're running to see which visual editor for WordPress is the heaviest, which one's going to bog down your site the most, which one's the slowest, um, and so forth. So what we did in the original test is basically I set up three subdomains on um, my server I installed three a version of WordPress on each one and then we made the exact same page using the big three visual editors or at least my opinion the big three visual editors which is Divi Elementor and Visual Composer slash WP Bakery um, and basically what we did here is I kept it super simple just for our first um, leg of this journey and all we did is we put a background header on each of these sites and then we ran a speed test on three of the biggest um, speed testing sites out there that most people use which is GT Metrics, Pingdom and Google Page Speed Insights. Um, now if you watch that video uh, basically uh, the, the short end of it was there wasn't a whole lot of difference between the three. Um, there were some minor differentiations but really they all loaded in under two seconds and had pretty good numbers as far as I can tell. So basically with just the page header in there, there was not much difference. So today what I did is I expanded on this. Now all three sites are basically still the same, but we've added some more sections. So you'll see I added a video background in the header and then I also added a heading uh, which I formatted with uh, some different uh, text formatting. So it's got you know different text inline text styles and then also an animation on that and then additionally we put another block of text in the middle also with some styling on it and then we've got our same background image right below that that we had before so now we got three sections we've got some inline styles we got some animations and we got a video background on all three of these sites we're gonna run these tests again and see which one if there's any change at all maybe they all are still running good maybe one slower now and who knows you know we're gonna see if we can find anything definitive on these three different uh, visual editors and see what kind of differences we've got here so let's head right on into it and get going alright thanks for sticking with me I'm gonna show you here the uh, three test sites that we've updated since yesterday um, now if you remember all we did yesterday was just throw this background image on the three of them and then run them through these different page speed testers today um, what I've done here is I've added a video background a heading and a block of text so um, this video background is stored in WordPress on the same server as the site um, right in the media library and it's about 22 megabytes large this text heading I've changed the font to open sans uh, we've did text transform to make it all uppercase changed the color to white and we added a fade effect on it here we've uh, changed the font to railway which is another Google font so we're going to be requiring that these um, sites load two different Google fonts and I also changed the size of the font to 16 pixels and the line height to 24 pixels um, so basically we're the same here on Elementor um, just looks a tiny bit different because they're um, base styling but otherwise basically the same now here we did have a little bit of a difference on the Visual Composer. What I found with Visual Composer is they don't let you upload a video and then stick it in there. They'll let you do a video background by linking to a YouTube video, but I couldn't find any easy way. I'm sure there probably is some way, and maybe it's even an easy way, but um, I couldn't find it uh, of adding a video background. So um, I just used this YouTube one instead, uh, so that's going to make this even less scientific, but at least we still have a video background in there to test with. And another thing they didn't let us do is change this font to Railway. Um, they give you kind of just the basic WordPress editor as a text editor, and changing the font in there is not something super easy to do. So I made the other font changes in line with the manual CSS um, on the span tag, but otherwise this is going to end up being a little different too. So they lose a few points for me just for being um, less easy to work with and um, kind of a janky result. You can see uh, we didn't even really do anything, but this page is like, weird horizontally there's like extra down there um, so just not great overall um, and uh, compared to Elementor this is really the first time I've even done anything with the Elementor theme at all I had no problems picking it up it was really easy to work with um, not as visual as Divi maybe but uh, basically you can do a lot of the same stuff so that's definitely good um, and I did like Elementor quite a bit anyway let's get right into the results so um, we're gonna jump over here to GT metrics for the Divi site 
Um, as you can see for page speed, we've got 95%. That's compared to yesterday, also 95%. So no change there. Um, y slow score yesterday was 90%. And uh, here we've got a uh, four-point decrease to 86%. Fully loaded time, 2.4 seconds. That's compared to 1.4 seconds yesterday. So we added a second on there. Um, total page size, 894 kilobytes compared to 386 kilobytes. So a little more than doubled that there. And then request 25. And that is compared to 13 yesterday. So overall, not a lot of change here. We did add a second on to the load time. Um, so that's almost doubling the load time, but it's still relatively small load time, I guess. And uh, the page size is showing as pretty small, so that's good. And um, we about doubled the requests, so we'll see how that stacks up compared to some of the other ones. Uh, here we'll flip right into the Elementor page. And uh, for page speed, we've got a 96 compared with a 96 yesterday, so no change there. And then uh, 85 compared with the 85 from yesterday, so no change there either. Um, so that's interesting. Now here, we've got a fully loaded time of 12.1 seconds. Yesterday, it was coming in at 1.1 seconds. So um, we added a full 11 seconds on to this from yesterday. So that's a pretty huge increase, and 12 seconds is a pretty slow load time, especially considering how small the site is. So um, definitely a big change there. Total page size, 21.4 megabytes. That's compared to 339 kilobytes yesterday, so that's a huge jump as well. And then um, requests went from 20 to 23, so actually requests didn't jump up that much. Um, obviously the ones we're noticing here is a huge change in fully loaded time, um, pretty much taking this from a really good to a pretty bad result, um, since I think this is probably one of the more important metrics. Um, and then obviously the total page size it probably has something to do with that as well because it's a huge jump in page size. So uh, not a great imp uh, performance compared to yesterday at all. And I actually even uh, re-ran this test several times and I've gotten the same result every time on GT Metrics. So um, the numbers are from GT Metrics are correct, but um, yeah, I don't really, I can't explain why that is. Now here we'll jump over to Visual Composer. And as you can see, they went down quite a bit on page speed score from 97% to a 4%. And on Y slow, they dropped from a 93% to a 79%. So um, huge drop there. Again, here you can see fully loaded time, 22 seconds compared to one second yesterday. So huge drop in fully loaded time. Um, and then we also see a large gain of 23 megabytes. Uh, that's compared to 323 yesterday. And then requests jumped from 10 to 215. That's a huge jump in requests. Um, probably has something to do with why this page speed score dropped all the way down to an F. So pretty amazing how just adding a couple sections and really basic stuff can make that huge of an impact, at least according to GT metrics. Um, so definitely the uh, Visual Composer fared the worst by far out of these three on GT Metrics, and um, Elementor also did pretty poorly in terms of fully loaded time. And Divi actually did pretty good. The only really negative is they added a second on the load time, so still not the best, but compared to the other two, it's, it's pretty good. Um, page speed. Uh, we're not going to look at the mobile because we did it yesterday, so we can't really compare it. Um, desktop optimization 85 out of 100 so that's compared to 86 out of 100 yesterday not much change there for Elementor 87 compared to 89 yesterday so we only lost two points there and then uh, Visual Composer 89 yesterday 89 today so no change there and I'm just gonna kinda skip over the rest of this because I um, think that the pingdom results are a little bit more easy to interpret and interesting so um, that's the result on page speed. So if pingdom for um, for Divi, we've got a 90, per 90 performance grade. Um, yesterday was 86. We actually bumped up four places. Uh, load time of 3.67 seconds. So that's fairly consistent with the other one, about a one second difference. Um, that's up yesterday was only 773 milliseconds. So still a big change over there. Um, interestingly, here we're seeing a large page size of 21.6 megabytes, um, whereas we did not see that on GT metrics. They were only showing us, let's see, 
um, under a megabyte so definitely some differentiation in the results there and request 23 compared to 12 yesterday so um, we had some drops here the page size got bigger and the load time dropped a little bit um, so definitely not as good as results as we got yesterday but not a dramatic drop either um, here we've got this is the Elementor site um, 89 yesterday 89 today 792 milliseconds actually faster than yesterday which had a 913 milliseconds and 21.5 uh, megabyte load time that's similar to what we saw on GT metrics with 22 requests um, an interesting stat here would be load time of 792 seconds compared to 12 seconds on GT metrics so um, obviously some huge differentiation between these two different places results um, huge differentiation there. Um, this this Elementor actually did really well on this test today. They actually improved, um, other than with this page size thing, but obviously that didn't affect load time, at least in Pingdom's eyes. So um, they actually saw an improvement in Pingdom over yesterday, um, slight, but uh, an improvement nonetheless. Uh, and then let's hop over to Visual Composer. They've got an 86. Yesterday was an 89, so they dropped, or nope, yesterday was 85, so they jumped up a spot. Uh, load time 545 milliseconds compared to one second yesterday so they increased in load time um, page size 4 megabytes so that's again a huge differentiation from the results we saw in GT metrics um, and then request 43 also a big differentiation we saw over 200 requests there um, so actually Visual Composer scored really well they actually won on load time uh, on this Pingdom test compared to the other sites and Divi scored the worst so um, we almost had the exact opposite results on this one um, except for Divi's performance I would say is not abysmal on this one compared to the GT metrics results on these are, are pretty damning so um, really interesting so I guess what kind of conclusions can we draw from this well it, I guess the biggest conclusion is that these page speed tests um, are Random are uh, dramatically differently determining page speed from one another. So, um, I guess just because your site scores well on GT metrics page speed doesn't mean it's going to do well on Pingdom and vice versa. Um, so, I guess if you want to take something useful info away from this, it would be to um, really run your te run your site through multiple different page speed testers because you're going to get different results and they might give you different information here that can help you optimize it um, as far as the overall big picture in terms of uh, which of these visual editors is the fastest the least heavy however you want to say it um, I don't think we got a whole lot farther on the issue in GT metrics Divi clearly won well um, both Elementor and Visual Composer performed poorly, and really they were all fairly similar on Pingdom. Uh, Visual Composer won by a little bit, and Divi lost by a little bit, but overall they were um, <coughs> fairly similar. I, I would say across all of them, uh, Elementor was the maybe the most even. No, I guess maybe it still probably was Divi, because... Um, Definitely 12.1 fully load time is, is a pretty big issue. So obviously there's some difference in the way that they're calculating their load time from GT metrics to Pingdom. So that's pretty interesting. And that could also come from a uh, test server region. I'm sure that could have something to do with it. Um, so this, this is tough to really say. But it's interesting that um, the megabytes on page size show so differently for Divi with only 894 here compared to a 21.6 here. Um, tough to really know on that and that could have something to do with um, being tested from Melbourne I keep trying to run the test from New York City but it doesn't really it keeps doing it from Melbourne so I'm not sure what's up with that so not exactly scientific here but um, still interesting results nonetheless so I think I'm going to try to do uh, at least one more round of this just to see if we can get a little bit more clarity because right now uh, basically I would say they're all three in about the same boat and you can pretty much just pick which one you like to use and not really have to worry about it too much um, so for now hold tight and uh, stay tuned because we're going to keep running some more tests on these and see if we can get to the bottom of this once and for all thanks